Happy holidays, everyone. I'm Tasha Berner Horvath, and I'm honored to serve as your state assembly member for Encinitas, Carlsbad, Oceanside, Vista, and Camp Pendleton. As a third generation North County resident myself, I'm truly proud to call North County home and raise my two kids here. This has been a year full of challenges that I'm sure many of you would like to forget. This pandemic has hurt us, our families, our friends, and our economy. At the same time, I witness every day the determination and resolve in our community as people have come together to take care of one another. I've seen so many helping hands pitching in to reach out to neighbors, distribute meals, check in on seniors, support small businesses, and help kids stay connected to their learning process. This type of kindness is what will help us get through this time. And for that, I'm thankful to all of you. One of these community champions we honored this year is Nicole Mion Green, our Woman of the Year for Assembly District 76. Nicole is the Executive Director, Director of Casa de Amistad, a nonprofit dedicated to fostering the education and character development of underserved children, teens, and their families in coastal North County. Under Nicole's leadership, they were able to expand to another location, add new innovative programming, and meet the needs of underserved students and families. Go, Nicole! I truly believe that small businesses are the fabric of any community. And in the case of So Oside, our California Small Business of the Year for District 76, that's literally true. When the public health officials started recommending the use of face coverings, the team sprang into action to sew and donate masks and offer supply kits with how-to videos so residents can make their own at home. Store owner Amanda Gerard and her team have really gone above and beyond taking care of their neighbors this year. And for that, my team and I are truly thankful. 2020 has required all of us to roll with the punches, and anyone with school-age kids right now can definitely relate. The challenges of distance learning and all the extra at-home attention students require has been especially tough on working families. That's where the Boys and Girls Club of Oceanside, our nonprofit of the year for District 76, has been a lifesaver for so many families. The club converted its kitchen into a meal pickup location and bridged the connectivity divide for students with after-school distance learning programs. Thank you for being such an outstanding pillar of the community, BGCO. With so many active and retired service members who call North County home, it's no wonder that so many of us can say that our lives have been touched by someone who has worn a uniform. To honor and thank these community heroes for all that they do, my office hosted our first annual Veterans and Service Member Awards in November. I'm proud to be the first in the assembly to host such an event like this. You can watch and learn about all of our outstanding awardees on my website in the video gallery. Now that I've highlighted these community champions from my district, I'd also like to extend my gratitude to all the sponsors, supporters, and community partners who pitched in to get four of my bills across the finish line and signed into law this year. I want to give a special shout out to everyone who played a role in the nearly two-decade fight to permanently protect San Onofre State Beach from road construction projects. My bill codifies the 2016 settlement agreement and ensures that the hard work to preserve this land can't be undone. It was an honor to carry this bill for the past two years, and we saved trestles. My team has been working hard on the, for the majority of 2020 to connect people who are out of work with their state unemployment benefits. Even with the improvements that have been made, many are still in need of relief, and that's why it was so critical to make sure my economic recovery bill to streamline our state's work share program could go into effect immediately after being signed. The streamline program is making it possible for more and more employees to stay on payroll with benefits each and every day. I'm also proud of my work with San Diego District Attorney Summer Steffen to get my sexual assault victims amnesty bill signed into law. The new law makes it safe for sexual assault survivors to testify in court without having to fear prosecution for unrelated drug or alcohol charges. This change brings us closer to a world where the burdens that victims carry are fully respected and validated. I'm looking forward to with more collaborations with DA Stefan to achieve justice for victims in North County. Last but not least, my fish hatchery bill from this year. With the support of the Coastal Conservation Association of California and others, we've got a bill signed into law that will strengthen our state's marine hatchery program and allows us to be better stewards of our marine resources. This fall, my daughter Maya and I helped Hub Sea World Research Institute release hundreds of hatchery-raised halibut into Mission Bay to replenish their depleted population in the ocean. Now that my bill is going into effect, Maya and I are looking forward to more fish releases in the coming year with many different species. 
Now that I'd like to share some holiday messages from our North County mayors, starting with Oceanside Mayor Peter Weiss. Hi, my name is Peter Weiss and I'm the mayor of Oceanside. 2020 has been a trying time for us all and a challenge for many. As we approach this Christmas and holiday season, I encourage you to shop local and support our small businesses. And it's also important to do whatever you can to help those in most need. And in the words of John Bon Jovi, when you can't do what you do, you do what you can. When you can't do what you do, you do what you can. Merry Christmas. Hi, I'm Judy Ritter. I'm the mayor of the city of Vista, and we'd like to wish you happy holidays from the city of Vista. Please join us in celebrating this special time of year at our Jingle Terrace Park Holiday Lights drive through event. Jingle Terrace Park is free and open to the public through December 28th from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. Visitors can be enchanted as they drive through the spectacular holiday-themed light displays. So on behalf of the City of Vista, best wishes for a wonderful holiday and a happy, healthy New Year. Wear your mask, wash your hands, and stay distance and have a great holiday. Greetings and happy holidays. I'm Catherine Blakespear, and it's my great honor to serve as the mayor in the city of Encinitas. I know that this holiday season is highly unusual, and many of our neighbors are hurting. But we're a resilient community, and when we pull together to help each other, we can do anything. So let's make sure that we reach out a helping hand to those who need it. 2021 is just around the corner. Happy holidays to our assembly member, Tasha Berner Horvath, and all of the residents of the 76th Assembly District. From my family to yours, my husband Ishti, my kids Mate and Maya, we wish you a holiday full of gratitude and a new year that's happy and healthy. Stay safe, North County.